Determine if each graph represents a function that is even, odd, or neither. A function is even if f of x equals f of negative x, and the graph has symmetry across the y-axis. If a graph has symmetry across the y-axis, we can fold the graph across the y-axis, and the two halves match up perfectly. A function is odd if the opposite of f of x equals f of negative x, or we could say f of x equals the opposite of f of negative x. And the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin, which means if we rotate or turn the graph about the origin, less than one complete turn or one complete rotation, and the graph looks exactly the same, the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin and is odd. Looking at the first graph, notice how if we try to fold this graph across the y-axis, let's say from the right to the left, we can easily see the two halves do not match up perfectly, and therefore this graph does not represent an even function. Let's check to see if it's an odd function. Let's see if the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin. So if we rotate or turn the graph about the origin, this point here, less than one complete rotation or one complete turn, and the graph looks the same, it does have rotational symmetry about the origin. And notice how if we rotate this graph 180 degrees or half a turn in this direction, the graph would look exactly the same again. The upper part of the graph would be the bottom part of the graph, and the bottom part of the graph would be the upper part of the graph. And therefore, this graph has rotational symmetry about the origin, and the graph represents an odd function. Which also means the opposite of f of x must equal f of negative x. And let's test this for x equals one. When x equals one, this is the corresponding point on the graph with the ordered pair one comma three. So if we substitute one for x in the equation, we have the opposite of f of one equals f of negative one. Using the ordered pair one comma three, we know f of one is equal to three, so the left side of the equation would be the opposite of three or negative three. And going back to the graph, when x equals negative one, the point on the graph is this point here with the ordered pair negative one comma negative three. So f of negative one is equal to negative three. Negative three equals negative three is true, verifying the equation is true. Now looking at the second graph, notice how if we fold this graph across the y-axis, this time the two halves do match up perfectly, and therefore we do have symmetry across the y-axis, and this graph represents an even function. Which also means f of x equals f of negative x. And let's test this using x equals one. When x equals one, this is the point on the graph where the ordered pair is one comma three. So if we substitute one for x in the equation, we have f of one equals f of negative one. Let's find the point on the graph when x equals negative one. That would be this point here with the ordered pair negative one comma three. Using these ordered pairs, we know f of one is equal to three, and f of negative one is also three, satisfying the equation. And now for the last graph, if we try to fold this graph across the y-axis, notice how the two halves, notice the two halves do not match up perfectly, and therefore this is not an even function, Let's see if it's an odd function. Again, if it's an odd function, we can rotate the graph about the origin less than one complete turn or one complete rotation, and the graph will look exactly the same. But again, if we rotate this about the origin or this point, it will take one complete rotation in order for the graph to look exactly the same, and therefore this is not an odd function. So because it's not even and it's not odd, we say it's neither. I hope you found this helpful.